Hey, minute. Can you solve for the value of x? We have 8 power x plus 1 plus 8 power x minus 1 is equal to 100. For us to solve this is very simple. But before then, you must understand some of the laws of exponents. The first one is, for instance, if you have a to the power of m plus n, the answer is a to the power of m times a to the power of n. Whenever you are multiplying in the same base, you are adding the powers. Then if you are sub subtracting in also the same base, all you have to do is just to do what? Divide. Okay, a power m over a power n. If you understand this, you are going to apply it here. So first, 8 power x, since I'm adding, I have to multiply, times 8 to the power of 1, then plus 8 power x divided by 8 power 1, and that's equals to 100. You understand that 8 power x is actually common here, so I can actually factor out 8 power x. So if I factor out 8 power x, what will I have? I have it as 8 power x for the first one. I'm left with 8 power 1, which is 8. Okay, plus, if I factor 8 power x here, I'm having this as 1 over 8, and that's equals to 100. Then, the next thing I have to do is simple, to add the term in the bracket. So, what do I do? 8 power x into 8 over 1, a common denominator of 8. 1 divided 8 is 8, 8 times 8 is 64, 8 divided 8 is 1, 1 times 1 is what? Plus 1. And that's what? 100. So what do you have? 64 plus 1 is 65. You have it as 8 power x into 65 over 8. Okay? Is equals to 100. Then to get rid of this 80, 65 over 8, I can simply multiply both sides by the reciprocal, which is 8 over 65. So if I multiply this side by 8 over 65, I also have to multiply here by 8 over 65. Okay? So that these two cancels out these two. So we are left with uh, 8 power x and that's equals to, what do you observe here? When, when we divide this by, 63 by 65 by 5, we have 13. And when we divide 100 by 5, we have 20, right? When we divide 100 by 5, we're having 20. So what do we have? We have it that a power x is 20 times 8, okay? So what do I have? I have it as what? 20 times 8 is 160, which is 160 over 13. Now over 13 cannot be expressed in common base. So all I have to do is to take their logs of both sides. So if I take the log of both sides, so if I take the log of the log of 8 power x, I will now have, I also have to take this one, the log of what? Uh, I will now have uh, 160 over 13. I have it as what? I have it as what? x log 8 is equal to, in log reading, whenever we are dividing in common base, what do we have to do? We simply have to do what? We simply have to do what? Subtract in the same log. So here I can have it as log 160 minus log 13. Okay? So for us to get the value of what? For us to get the value of x. We just have to divide both sides by log. We divide both sides by log 8. We divide here by log 8. And we also have to divide here by what? Log 8. Okay? So whenever we divide by log 8, log 8 cancels out log 8. We are now having it that x is equals to, we have uh, log 160 minus log log 13 divided by log 8 okay so at this point we can actually simplify okay to simplify it is very easy we can write this as simplifying the fractions we have it as log of 160 divided by by basically log of what 8 minus uh log of 
13 divided by log 8. Okay? So basically, our x can now be seen as x is equals to, we use change of base at a common log, log of base what? 8 of 160 minus log of base what? 8 of what? Of 13. And that's the what? Actual answer to this particular problem. Okay? This is how the answer looks like. You can actually do it log of base 8 of 160 over 13. Once you punch it in the calculator, you are definitely going to get the same answer. Like and share for more tips like this.